there's this poem, this Kipling poem, uh, called The Explorer. And there are a couple lines in there where he says, you know, there's something behind the ranges, go and find it. And so we really liked that concept, and we really thought that that kind of spoke to you know, why people are here, why people trek up here. And so we just played with that for a while, and we, we came to Outer Range, and we loved it. I think we went probably through about 100 names before we uh, settled on that one. I honestly wasn't really into craft beer before I met Lee. And this is kind of before home brewing really took off. One of my friends said, hey, there's this guy in Manitou Springs uh, brewing beer tonight, you want to learn. And Manitou's really an eclectic town, so I was like, I got to see this. And uh, it was Lee. And so uh, our first time we ever met, we actually home brewed together. We actually got engaged four months later. We focused on Belgians and IPAs because I went to high school in Belgium. So I was 16 years old drinking like Chimay Blue in downtown Brussels. And that's really where I fell in love with beer. And then uh, we happened to live in the Northeast uh, right along this time where all these, you know, Northeast or New England IPAs really started taking off. And that made me really fall in love with, you know, the IPA style. You know, we're putting such a massive amount of hops into the beer, even though they're not very bitter that you know you really get these like uh, exponential effects of like what those hot flavors are so you know the differences between the hot combinations just magnified and uh, our whole philosophy going in was that we were going to spend the most money on ingredients we could um, get you know buy the best malt buy the best hops and it would pay off eventually especially in Colorado you know the beer drinkers in Colorado are really sophisticated they can taste a beer and understand immediately if corners have been cut in, in the production of that beer. And we didn't ever want to give anybody that experience with our beer. What we love about Frisco is it's surrounded by six epic ski resorts, some of the most famous ski resorts in the world. But it's still a small town, and we have such access to this mountain lifestyle. And when we talked about the brewery, you know, the beer is the product and we're proud of that pot product and we want to make the best product we can. But when I think about craft beer, what I think about is like spending a day on the mountain and then talking to friends and reliving that day over a craft beer. And that's what we try to recreate here. So we do a lot of community events. We try to do like outdoor film series, live music on the patio. We're trying to create an environment where people can connect in this epic setting, you know, with 360 views of these mountains and really use that kind of craft beer as a way to sit around and gather and relive their day and that brings me you know from my perspective because I do a lot of the events that that brings me the most joy. I mean the best thing about craft beer is you know talking to your friends about the beers you're sharing you know and the best thing for me is you know sitting around with people who, who love beer trying new beers and getting inspired by the flavors that are there. I mean life is short and uh, I think that you know, that's kind of what the craft community speaks to. It's like every beer you have should be amazing. You know, every environment you go to drink that beer should be amazing. And so I think the two are, you know, definitely woven together and inseparable. Mm -hmm.